my decor that I have for Halloween. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using all of them, but I'm going to try to see. I don't want to make the house look like too Halloween. I still want to enjoy fall. Still really want to enjoy fall, like all the leaves and everything that I have around. Just because I feel like everything goes by so fast. So I'm going to just kind of decorate. I have these spiders from Crate and Barrel. I think I got them like three years ago. I know it's been quite some time and I have another one somewhere there. And these um, little guys are from Michael's. And then I have some bats that I'm planning on putting in the kitchen and then in our mudroom. It's a cool bucket that I got from Michael's last year. And this pumpkin from last year from Home Friends. I was thinking to actually spray paint this white. And then some lights. So this stuff is from last year. And then I have a skeleton, but he's missing an arm and his leg. I think they are here. <laughs> the kids love playing with this. So for the new decor, I grabbed this broom. It's so cute from Michaels. And it was on like 50% off. And this broom is, yeah. So original price was 15, but it was like 50% off. And it has a cinnamon scent to it. It smells so nice and it's super cute for Halloween. And then I went to Crate and Barrel. I grabbed this stem to go with my little haunted house. I will show you how this looks. This is how the house looks like. This is the small one. They have different sizes. But for a small, it's actually pretty big. I thought it was going to be much more smaller. Uh, I will show you guys how it looks like. I'm planning on putting this one in the kitchen. And then I picked this stem to go around it. I think it will look cute. So you can also use this little house for Christmas decor as well. It's not like super spooky or anything like that it's just a black house and i did see some stores have a decor like this which is just like a little house as you can see uh you can make it as spooky pairing it with halloween stuff but i think it will look super cute with christmas stuff as well ranch was on sale as well so this i think it was like eight dollars uh i don't know what is the original price now i'm thinking that i should grab maybe like two more of these so I can put it in like a vase. I think it's super cute. All right, so I decided to start in our mudroom. So I wanted to bring in some of our decorations that I had, especially the broom. I thought it would look so cute in this space. And then I also wanted to use the uh, costume that my daughter has. It's a witch costume that we bought last year from Pottery Barn and it's such a beautiful costume. I love it so much. So I wanted to display it. And also this broom smells so nice. So it's like a perfect addition for when we are walking inside our house because we do enter through our garage. And then it smells like cinnamon and it's just brings all uh, like the fall feelings into the house and i love it so much so i'm just going to start off with these little bats and these guys i have uh, from amazon and they're like super cheap for so many and it's a, such a great addition for that halloween decor they are very neutral you can stick them anywhere and i think they really fill out this space and they still look very like minimalist and modern, which is exactly what I like. decide if I want this bucket here or if I want the pumpkin I love the pumpkin I feel like it really adds that pop of color and it's green so it kind of like goes with this whole like witch theme and I wanted to recreate uh, this broom with the lights just like it is from Pottery Barn if you guys seen it it's such a pretty one and I thought it would be perfect to put it in here and I love how it turned out. It just adds a little bit of sparkle to this area.
And if you already follow me on Instagram, then you know I post a lot of stories about this mug. I love it so much. It's such a nice mug from Pottery Barn. I will link it in the description box. And then this super cute Calderon, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. It's from Crate and Barrel. They still have it. I will leave a link in the description. It was very affordable and it looks so cute too. And for our like a centerpiece for my kitchen countertops, I am actually going to be recreating this look when it's closer to Halloween just because I really want to still enjoy the last bits of fall because Christmas is coming up so soon. I'm actually really excited about it, but I still want to soak in that fall season. So I'm going to just show you guys how I'm going to style it for now. But it's also Thanksgiving for us Canadians. It's going to be that weekend that I am posting this video. So um, that's why I wanted to keep like the fall leaves still around and just bring back Halloween when it's closer to it. recreate those famous uh, terracotta pumpkins from Pottery Barn so I'm using these three paints that I bought from Michaels I love buying the paint from Michaels because when I went there it was buy one get one free so you get like the best value out of there and then you can also use their coupon that they always have on their website so I just mix all the colors and the color actually ended up looking too orange so I went ahead and added a little bit more of the black so it looks a little bit darker and I feel like that was looking better I was going to add a different color to this but I feel like this works perfect just because we are going to be layering colors anyways but if it's a little bit darker, I feel like it was going to look better. Uh, I was afraid that the orange might look a little too orange. So this is how it looks like with that light paint that I applied. That one is also from Michaels. And then a little bit of flower. I didn't put too much of the flower because if you mix it too much with the paint, then it, it starts clumping up together and it's really hard to work with it but you also want to start applying the lighter paint when the previous paint is actually maybe about 80% dry and this way everything is going to start blending as you can see on my pumpkin and you will achieve that perfect terracotta color look to it some areas ended up being a little bit more whiter because I ended up adding some more white but I feel like this looks perfect and it's such a cheaper alternative than the ones from Pottery Barn. I got these two pumpkins from Michaels again and it was buy one get one free and they have lights and they were perfect. And the last step is to dust them off with that remaining flower that you have and that completes the final look. Also, this berry garland is on sale at Crate and Barrel again, so definitely check it out. It's a beautiful piece. I highly recommend it. You can style it for Christmas, which is what I'm going to be doing this year again. So definitely go and grab yours. And that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. And until next time.